Welcome to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hammett. Um, I would like this to be about celebrity sacrifices, and I would like to analyze some basics of I would I would like to analyze the ingredients of sacrifices and I am making predictions you know this this ish is predictable it's predictable right now I could predict first of all I'm just going to make some points, and I'm just going to make this in very small pieces. Now, for some reason, well, the universe spoke to me, and upon the last sacrifice, it, I research people, and I do like a comparison, and, um, I, I researched the person that recently supposedly died. Usually they haven't even reached 50 yet. Or they are right around the 50 mark, okay? Or let's say they're in their 50s. And for a black person, that is like being 30. Really, it's like being 30. So for a black person, that is young. They still have youth, vitality, energy, and they look nowhere, they don't look old at all. So that's point number one. Point number two is I have researched, and then I see connections, patterns, and um, I look at the dates. Okay? So that's something we will look at. We will look at dates. Point number three what I learned from other people that introduced me to this concept of sacrifice is that it it's happening, a lot of times it's happening near a holiday or a seasonal change. A seasonal change, which is what our holidays are. Our holidays are seasonal changes, but it's an energy shift in um like the the energy of the god that is going to be the most prominent so christmas new years valentines you know all of those um are seasons okay it's not an exact day but it's a season and what would that mean if it's a season that means you can do plus or minus two weeks on the date that you, you know, the, the, um, okay, let's say spring. Spring doesn't happen overnight. Spring is a gradual process. I, I guess we could say it, 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 it starts, it, it, it takes about two weeks for the complete change to happen because um, it's just gradual, like, it'll, it'll, one day it's gonna be real, it like gives you a warning, one day it gets really warm, and you're like, uh-oh, it's starting to change, and then the next day, cools down, it goes back to being like a fall feeling, and then another day, okay, it warms up just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, and then the next day, okay, it stays like that for a couple days, and then another day, it gets super, super warm until gradually the heat is turned up. That's for any season. It doesn't just happen, boom, right away. So um, the transition days uh, or the death day, I don't like to say death, but because you return to the black dot and you aren't dead. This, what we're living right now is death, is death. You're spiritually dead. 
So anyway, when they finish from this world, that's how I'm going to put it, it's usually on a, a certain day. And a certain day that we call solstice. Solstice, they're all solstices, okay? The beast always renames and revamps and hides the simplicity of the science of the universe. If you want to call it solstice, every, every quarter is a solstice. You want to call it equinox? Okay, then every one of them is an equinox. There isn't, there shouldn't be, okay, two of them are solstices, solstices, and two of them are equinoxes. No. They're all one or the other, whichever name you want to say it. Solstice has the word sun in it, S O L. Uh, and the I C E, I guess, is just, uh, like, uh, an internal nature. And then equinox is equal. So really, uh, equinox seems like the real, the real word that's supposed to be used. Equinox. So then the equin, it, all it means is that, or at least the ancestors help me to understand it, is that it is when the sun and moon are across from each other. And that happens four times a year. And on a flat earth, we're talking about a flat earth, that when they go in their cycle, when they go in their circle, cycle and circle are the same thing. When they go in their cycle, they're both moving at the same time, but there's a point in time where they're right across from each other. And they are also, all energy moves in a spiral. So it spirals in. And what, what can, I'm trying to think of something that you know that is a spiral, that everybody knows is a spiral, but right now I can't think of anything. But anyway, you start from the outside and you go to the inside until you get to the center of your circle, and then it unwinds again, and still un unwinds and goes back out again. That is actually how it operates. Now, one thing I'm not sure is the direction. I think that we have been taught the wrong direction. That would make sense because everything you've been taught is a lie. However, if you know anything about other cultures intensively and have lived in other cultures, I have everything, everything of their culture is the opposite of ours. Their text is left to right. Ours is right to left. Um, just there, um, uh, before their ancient text didn't have vowels and we have a vowels. But their ancient text didn't have vowels. Um, and the way they draw, the way, there's just some other things that are in reverse. So all I'm saying is that we are possibly going the wrong direction as far as clockwise. Uh, I'm, I would have to, I haven't observed the moon enough. To know which which direction the shadow falls on. Which direction does the shadow fall on? Is it all I think it's always coming from the le from the left side. That's what I think. It's always coming from the left side, and I'm saying this from memory. Boys and girls, the moon has a duality, there's a, a light, there's a light that's a circle, that's a disc, and then there's a black disc. The black disc is what is covering the moon to make the so-called phases of the moon. But, and the real full moon is the black moon. 
That's the real full moon. That's when you're supposed to be making your wishes, desires, rituals, um, intentions when the moon is black, when you can't see it because the melanin is covering it. All of that is a download from the universe, from the ancestors. It's not something new. I knew this. They, they told me this more than two years ago. They had me look at the uh, moon and then the epiphany came that because if you actually looked at the moon, you'll see the shadow. It's not the moon uh, like cutting itself in little pieces. There is another. There's a shadow, which is melanin. There's a light moon and there's a melanin moon. So there's really two moons. And I'm saying that in a literal sense, so you can understand it, but there's a shadow. There's a shadow that covers the moon that makes the so-called, what we call, phases. So, I'm going to stop right there because I've gotten away from talking about sacrifices. So that ends part one.